I'm Sergeant Strange, this is Mike Seven. Apply an inclusive dressing and perform a needle decompression. Task, treat a chest wound and tension pneumothorax. Condition, you are a member of a team on a combat patrol that has come under small arms fire in a non seaburn environment. You witness a teammate in the open receive a gunshot wound to the upper body. Your teammate was able to move to you and is responsive. You are behind cover, not under hostile fire, and your teammates have established a security perimeter. You must begin treatment while waiting on medical personnel to arrive. The injured soldier is alert and complaining of difficulty breathing. Another soldier is helping you finish the casualty assessment and is obtaining the other vital signs. Standard. Perform all tasks to standard in sequence within 10 minutes without causing further injury. Step 1. Apply occlusive dressing. Expose the injuries. Apply an occlusive dressing to the entry wound. Upon full exhalation, cover the wound with large occlusive material dressing covering the first wound encountered. Ensure the material extends two inches beyond the edge of the wound. Tape all four sides of the dressing. Log roll the casualty onto his unaffected side and examine the back for an exit wound. Apply an occlusive dressing to the exit wound using the same standards as step two. Verify the presence of tension pneumothorax by checking for at least three of the indications below. Verbalize as needed. Question the casualty about difficulty in breathing, pain on the affected side, coughing up blood, and observe for signs of progressive respiratory distress. Observe the casualty's bare chest for respiratory rate depth and abdomen for progressive distension. Look for metastinal shift manifested as a tracheal deviation and or jugular distension. Look at and feel the patient's chest for signs of air in the chest wall, subcutaneous emphysema. Check for unilateral distension and chest expansion by placing one hand on the affected side, the other hand on the unaffected side, and comparing the height of each hand as the chest rises and falls. Determine if the height of the hand on the affected side is greater than the height of the unaffected side during exhalation. Look for bluish skin, cyanosis. And last, look for signs and symptoms of shock. Now locate the insertion site. Locate the second intercostal space between the second and third ribs at the midclavicular line, approximately in line with the nipple, on the on affected the side of the patient's chest. Thoroughly cleanse a three to four inch area around the assertion site. Begin at the center and work outward using a circular motion. Apply a commercial needle decompression kit according to the manufacturer's instructions or improvise by inserting a large bore 10 to 14 gauge needle with attached catheter. Place the needle tip bevel up on the assertion site, second intercostal space, midclavicular line. Lower the proximal end of the needle to permit the tip to enter the skin just above the third rib margin. 
Firmly insert the needle into the skin over the third rib until the pleura has been penetrated, as evident by feeling a pop as the needle enters the pleural space. Remove the needle and discard per unit SOP. Decompress the affected side by exhaling as much air as is necessary to relieve the patient's acute symptoms. Apply a commercial one-way flutter valve according to instructions or improvise. One method is described below. Cut the finger casing from a sterile glove. Cut off the fingertip. Tie or tape the finger casing to the needle hub and check the operation of the impro improvised flutter valve. Ensure that air passes through the needle valve assembly on exhalation. Ensure that the flutter valve collapses against itself on inhalation. Secure the catheter to the chest. Measure pulse and oxygen saturation. Candidate can perform this step on themselves or another soldier since the casualty must be a mannequin. Wipe the index, middle, or ring fingertip with alcohol to ensure that it is clean and dry. And then apply the sensor. Document the readings on the TCCC card. Record all treatments on the TCCC card. On the front of the card, make an X on the casualty's evacuation priority 